Hello everyone, Sabla here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying out Ashton's Global Challenge team featuring Hippowdon and Terra Normal Dragapult. Really, really cool team here. Really looking forward to trying it out. Of course, guys, if you aren't already following Ashton, please go do so down below. They also do stream over on Twitch as well, so make sure you're checking out that link too. Uh, with that, I say we jump into some games. Okay, so we're going to kick things off versus the uh, Solo Dozo Ting Lu uh, team here. So... Thankfully, no Tatsugiri for mind games or anything like that. Don't have to worry about trying to stop like an entire Dozo game plan. It's probably just going to be like those Yawn, uh, the Yawn Stealth Rock stuff is what I would imagine from a team like this. So, how do I want to play this? I do really like late game Goldango. I think it's really, really nice versus something like that Shen Pao versus something like that Fluttermane that I can kind of tear it out of and uh, steal, uh, make it rain if I wanted to. I feel like that's definitely something to keep in mind in the back. Um, Hapaudon seems... Pretty mediocre here. I, I mean, maybe it does come because Sand Tomb just to keep them on the field. Because like by Sand Tombing and trapping them, I don't have to really switch out. I get some passive damage. Like I could almost go like Glamora Hippowdon. Like kind of take a page out of their playbook, right? Go late game Goldengo and then like Goldengo Iron Bundle, right? Like Dragapult I do kind of want, but I don't think it's like a necessity here. Whereas we can do something along these lines and just... Play the game of like trap them in, start whittling them down with our damage, and then late game I'll have like bundle Goldengo to kind of just win. And that's where we're gonna go with this one, and we'll see if we can uh, pull it off. It's not the ideal game plan, but we'll, we'll see. I, I think it's probably a fair way to play through this, it's just really tough to actually know for certain. Now, Ashton, if you're watching, I apologize at how poorly I'm playing your team, but uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot here. I think this should be should be enough to pull through. Anyways, you're going to go Dragonite, Tinglu, Glamora, Hippo. Honestly, I'm not even mad at this per se. Like, this seems pretty decent. Like, I'm going to be able to just drop a... Hmm. I'm going to be able to drop the Mortal Spin. Now, the, the real thing is, do I want to save Glamora? I don't think I need this piece outside of poisoning Ting Lu. So, I think I'm pretty content just to drop a Mortal Spin. And now, I could yawn as well. But I think I'm going to Sand Tomb first, personally. I could also drop a Stealth Rock. Hmm. I'm going to drop a Stealth Rock. I I'm going to set up the rocks. Now, this could be wrong. But we're going to go for it. They're going to Terra immediately here. It's going to be the Dragonite. It has to be the Dragonite. It's the only reason that would make sense to me. So there's the Terra. It is going to be the Dragonite. It is going to be Terra flying. So probably just trying to cover had I gone for something along the lines of Terra grass on Glamora. That would make sense. Or they're going to try and bully Hippowdon because they don't know what it does. But we're going to get good damage here off with the Mortal Spin. And by good damage, I mean the Poison. That's what I'm looking for right there. Uh, it does potentially break multi-scale on Dragonite. So... Definitely could con be considered good damage, but, uh, and there's a Terra Blast. Okay, is it going into the Hippo or the Glamora? Yeah, okay, so they covered for the Terra Grass, really nicely played. That's mainly, that's the main reason I didn't want a Terra Grass. I can just kind of sack Glamora here. We are going to get the Debris up, which is really, really cool, and Hippo's going to get the Rocks up. They also might follow suit with Rocks of their own, and if they opt for something like that, I get a free Power Gem. But they're going to Earthquake, okay, and we get, so we have Toxic Spikes. And the Stealth Rock's up now. So we're in a pretty good spot if they do decide to make maneuvers here. The only concern I have is like, we've got to start getting damage. we, we got to start forcing the switch. Because if they never have to switch, the Spikes and the tox and the Stealth Rock's never add up. And that's going to become the problem there. So I think we should, we should still be okay. Like, things are starting to add up. I'm probably going to go Sand Tomb. Uh, I don't really want Goldengo yet. I do have Terra Water and that's going to be my game plan. I'm going to go into Bundle and I'm going to Protect. I just want to Scout because if like we can catch like a Protect from them, we can actually drop an immediate Encore from Iron Bundle. And I absolutely love Encore Iron Bundle, especially in Closed Sheets, just because it's one of those ones where it's like they don't see it coming. So they might want to Protect because like they're scared of a Freeze Dry or something along those lines. And I think I'm just going to uh, Sand Tomb over here into the Ting Lu. The damage into Ting Lu right now is the mod I need to get damage into. Goldengo I still think is quite capable of winning this game straight up in the end game. So we'll be going for that. There's just a Terra Blast into my bundle. I am chill. We take that. No big uh, no big concern right there. And we're going to get the Sand Tomb to connect really, really nicely here. I do wonder if they're just going to start spamming Earthquake though. Uh, just a Taunt. Okay. Really cool to see actually. So maybe trying to take away like Yawns and stuff. I respect it, but you know what I can do now? 
I can encore the <laughs> I can encore the taunt. Uh, they could be banded here, but I think banded Dragonite would have done more damage to Glamora. So I'm gonna encore the taunt. Expect Iron Bundle to survive the turn, and then we've got this Tinglu trapped in here, taunted and poisoned, and I can probably just kill it next turn. So I'm gonna go for the encore here. Um, really don't have much I really need to do here, but I am gonna stay on the field. Just because if I switch out, I I break the Sand Tomb, and I don't want to break the Sand Tomb trapping this Tinglu on the field right now, so we'll be going for Encore here. A little bit of extra chip on the Sand Tomb as well. Drag they are going to switch out the Dragonite, though. This is really, really nice. Uh, that is a Moongus, though, right? So the Poison, yeah. Okay, Toxic Spikes are gone, but it's not a huge deal. We do get some nice chip damage into a Moongus, and now we've also Encored them into Taunt, and they can't do anything anymore. So, Encore is such a good move. Encore is so good. Also, a Powdown going crazy right now. Just gonna point that out. Uh, a little bit of extra chip. They're gonna taunt. Gonna be Encore. Actually, thankfully, back into. That could have been a little scary had they got it off into the Iron Bundle, honestly. Uh, looking back at that now. Because, Because uh, if they taunt me there, I can't actually protect or anything like that, which becomes problematic. So, we're gonna get that chip damage. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna protect Iron Bundle and I'm gonna Sand Tomb into. The Amoongus, yeah, I might take a sleep, like I might take a nap, but at the end of the day, I'm still getting the chip damage up. I'm okay with this trade off, I think. Like, locking Amoongus on the field beside the Ting Lu, I, I mean, this seems pretty strong to me. Like, Ting Lu might actually go down this turn to the Sand Tomb plus the Poison, and if it does, then Goldengo can come in next turn. Like, I think we're in a pretty, pretty consistent spot right now. I'm, I'm pretty content with this. There's a nice little Sand Tomb. Not a lot of damage, but it's the, it's the damage on the, uh, on the turn, right? That's what we're looking for here. And they're gonna taunt, like I said, to kind of go forth to go for it into the protect there, thanks to the encore. And what are we gonna see from Amoongus? We're gonna see a spore also, also into the iron bundle. And that is what you absolutely love to see because now we're gonna see Ting Lu get hit pretty, uh, honestly, might just die. Because we get sand, well, we don't get sand chip onto Ting Lu, but the uh, sand tomb should be enough. Yep, goodbye, Ting Lu. Okay, so now we're probably in range for Freeze Dry to potentially drop the Amoongus, and we don't have to care about Spore anymore. Uh, no, it's definitely... Uh, it might. It might drop. They gotta get chipped by Sand, too, right? Oh, no, they already got chipped by Sand. Okay, hmm. Those rocks are coming in so clutch right now. Those rocks are coming in so clutch. I am just simply gonna Freeze Dry over here into the, into the damage dealer. Like, okay, Iron Bundle goes to sleep, but I really don't care. And, uh, actually, I could freeze dry Amoongus. It's gonna be really close as to if I get the kill, but I'd rather take out the damage dealer. So we'll take out the damage dealer. Is my taunt over? It is not. Okay, so I'll just Sand Tomb again. I want to keep these guys trapped on the field for a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna kill off the e Knight, which is very, very nice. And now we've really got basically a full health gold dango versus a chip down Amoongus. And whatever's left in the back, and we can still tear it to get out of any sort of weaknesses that they may be planning to hit us with. So, there's another Sand Tomb for a little bit more chip. This should proc a berry, if I had to take a guess. Yep, there's the berry. You just couldn't see it because the Bowdon's on the screen. Alright, so the Spore is going out. Unfortunately, Iron Bundle does get hit by that, but... I could have gone immediately into... I could have gone straight into Gold and go there to eat the Spore. It just didn't feel like ne a necessity to me, right? Because whatever comes in is still going to lose its sash if it's something like the Fluttermane or the Shen Pao. And then I can just walk in, tear a water. It's the Fluttermane. I can just walk in, tear a water, make it rain. This game is over. There's, there's really not a whole lot they can do to come back from this. Um, if I get a chance to wake up, I'll ice you in just to slow things down. And I'm going to Sand Tomb over here into the Flutter. The game is over, though. There's really, there's effectively no way for my opponent to win anymore. I've got the Sand Chip going out. Hopefully we get some more sa Oh, that is one way for them to win it. That, that is something. If there was a chance for them to win, that is it. I don't like that though because it's just so passive and they didn't kill Bundle. Right? So they, they've given me a... No oh, never mind. Sand Tomb just makes it fade. We're fine. We're fine. Alright, so they put me to sleep. So now they're going to try... I would imagine they're going to try for another substitute. But once again, if they manage to get the substitute off, I can freely Encore. And then I can, and I'm still pretty safe from that point. So, 
Honestly, I'm gonna try and wake up and freeze right into the gust because killing the gust right now will let me encore that um, uh, Fluttermane. They should substitute again, trying to bank on sleep turns. Iron Bundle is gonna wake up. Is this gonna kill off this uh, Amoongus? I would imagine they have to set a substitute here. I think they have to bank on sleep turns to get a substitute up. Nope, they're gonna Shadow Ball. That is more than fine by me. I'm not really concerned. I lose Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is so good. <laughs> Iron Bundle is so, so good. Okay, we're going to... Uh, uh, honestly, I'm just going to freeze dry. I could Encore and stuff, but like I said, I still have that Goldengo in the back for the W here. This is just... This is over, yeah. This is over. Good stuff. Good stuff. Didn't even need to bring Goldengo, which I find funny. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, so we're going to get actually a Salamence here, which is... Kind of wild. Like, I mean, I haven't seen a Salamence in forever, so we'll be interested to see what, it see what it's going for here. Obviously, it does have that Intimidate I kind of have to watch out for, but... I, I think I can kind of keep things going with just, like, the whole Glamora Mortal Spin stuff. Like, I think that's kind of a really solid way to play this. Puts on a decent amount of pressure into the Dragapult Shen Pao as well. Like, something like Bundle Glamora seems pretty strong into that lead. Doesn't seem like it's amazing, but it should be strong enough to let me do some things. I can protect to stall out the turns. Obviously not on the Glamora, but I don't think they want to stay on the field in front of it either. So definitely not in front of the bundle. So I, I still think Goldengo late game cleans here. I, I do want to check one thing. We are Terra Water. Okay, that's that's what I was looking for. All I was looking for to see if we were Terra Water or not. Um hmm. Do I want my own Dragapult just for speed? I do and I don't, right? Because it's like, it's really, really good because I will be the fastest thing. But the Sucker Punch potential on Bonnet, the Sucker Punch potential on Shen Pao makes me really kind of not want it. Hippowdon is decent, actually. It's either Hippowdon or Wochen. I think I'm going to go Wochen. Just because it does a little bit better into the Palafin than the Hippowdon would have. So, we're going to bring in uh, the live Wochen reaction here as we speak. And we'll see what happens. Honestly, I'm just happy Hippowdon did something in the first game. Like, that that's pretty hyped to me. Like, Hippowdon was actually good. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see Dragapult Shen Pao. Speaking of uh, leads that uh, put on a lot of pressure, here we go. Okay. So, I have options here. And is my best option to protect Bundle? And I want to say yes. However, I'd probably just lose Glamora. But losing Glamora would actually allow for both poison activations to go up, and I'd be okay with that. So, I think I'll Mortal Spin just to start putting... Uh, actually, it could go Terra Steel. And if he does Terra Steel, I'd almost rather just like drop an Earth Power into it, because that could actually catch it off guard. So I'm going to Earth Power into you, and I'm just going to Protect. I think it's unlikely that I'm going to actually get an attack off with the Glamora. But I think on the off chance that I do, this is the way I want to play it. There's the Terra. Show me Steel. That's still fine. That's still fine. We can still work with this. Because I Earth Power. Could have Power Gem for Stab, but Earth Power is still fine. What are we going to see? I might not... I, like I said, I, I doubt I'm getting an attack off. We're going to see a Sucker Punch from the Shen Pao into what was the Iron Bundle here. The Darts is going to double up. Glamora looking like it's going to tank this, actually. So not only are we going to survive the turn... We're going to get both layers of spikes, and we're going to get solid earth power off into Dragapult here. Uh, Glamora kind of goaded. Glamora kind of goaded. really wish I would have powered them, though, because it would have just killed it. It would have just killed it. Now, I don't know if Freeze Dry is going to kill. I really don't know if Freeze Dry is going to kill. Do I have a switch in? Not worth it. Not not a switch in that's actually worth bringing in here. I'm going to try and kill it with a Freeze Dry. I think it's pretty uh, pretty safe. And drop a power gem into Chen Pao if I get it. And if I get the freeze dry, I get the freeze dry. If I don't, I don't. Oh well. They're actually going to switch out, so potentially free freeze dry damage onto whatever comes in here. It's going to be Brute on it. It's going to get poisoned. It's going to get hit by a freeze dry. I have no complaints right now. This is seemingly a pretty good turn. They've got to bully down my uh, Iron Bundle as well, potentially with a Sacred Sword. Brute on it does not appreciate that. Chen Pao does drop a Sacred Sword. Iron Bundle is apparently the bulkiest Iron Bundle in the world. <laughs> gonna survive. Uh, we're gonna get the Power Gem into Shen Pao to bring it down to 1 HP. And yeah, I mean, this is what you like to see. 
<laughs> this is what you like to see. I do have to be concerned about Sucker Punch on Shen Pao, though. I feel like I could see just a double Sucker Punch here. Hmm. Oh, Mortal Spin. And I'm gonna Encore into Sucker Punch so they can't Ice Spinner my Wo Chen. I'm okay with that, actually. I think that's decent. Yep, there's a Sucker Punch. It's not going to go off. They should Sucker Punch my Glamora. Yeah. That that only checks out. Like, that, I figured this double Sucker was happening here. But now I've locked them in the Sucker Punch. So I can just simply not attack. And start encoring the Brute Bonnet in the Sucker Punch. And simply not attack. Right? I don't need to click a move to win this game anymore. Like, I don't need to attack. I've got the poison. And as long as they're locked in the Sucker Punch. They can't switch out Shen Pao because it's dead on switch and after have to protect. Uh, could bring in Goldango and just get, uh, uh, make it rains up, like Nasty Plots up. But I feel like Wotan actually does a little bit more pressure with a Leech Seed, because then I'm actually taking off, taking the Shen Pao off the field, right? Which just feels a little bit more, a little bit more optimal to me here. So we're going to drop a Leech Seed into Shen Pao to kill it off the field, and we're going to Encore into Brute Bonnet to just put it back into another Sucker Punch. And at this point, there's, I, I don't need to attack to win this game. Lead Seed will eventually kill it. Uh, freeze Drop. Eventually, I'm going to be able to get a Freeze Drop because both Sucker Punch users are eventually going to go down, right? If they switch out, they're going to be dead back on switching because of the, the poisons, and I can just protect. Like, I think we're in a pretty win winning position here. I, uh, I don't know what they're going to go for here. I, yeah. Like, I, I want to I, I want to say there's a chance. For them and I, I'm trying to say that they can maneuver their way out of this but I just don't see how they're gonna be capable of doing so like even if this is Dragapult but it's gonna be Salamence okay cool I mean you don't get hit by poison uh, toxic spikes but you've wasted your Terra already you're locked into Sucker Punch here Shen Pao isn't gonna do anything we're gonna get the Leaf Seed off it's gonna go down uh, I guess that brings in Brute Bonnet again I guess this was their best play right because now Bonnet comes back in for a Sucker Punch pressure onto Iron Bundle, potentially giving them like damage from the, like a setup potential on Salamence or something along those lines. But I'm still safe to protect for a turn. And I think I just Pollen Puff the Brute Bonnet if they do bring it in, because I'll get the kill. And then next turn I can just freeze dry that slot. It's just GG. Like, yeah, they're going to bring in Dragapult. Now, I do have to still be careful because the Dragapult could have Sucker Punch as well. It is banded, so I don't know if I necessarily... Um, actually, do we know it's banded? I still don't want to risk a potential... I still don't want to risk a potential Sucker Punch, so I'm going to Flare Blitz that slot. Like, there's no way they bring this in if they don't have Sucker Punch, in my opinion. So I'm going to Protect. It, it's my, it might be a mistake. Right? This could be definitely me over-reading, but I also think we're in such a good spot that it doesn't matter Salamence is gonna protect as well is there a sucker punch here or were they just trying to call the, the fact that I freeze dragon men they're gonna go U-turn Wochen is gonna barely survive but uh, is foul play in the brute bonnet going to be enough is it becomes the question I want to say no and if that's the case we're in a little bit of trouble here because then they can just start switching around it might actually be though it will be okay Wochen Getting that foul play off, taking out the Brute Bonnet, and seeing that play that they just made, to me that means there is no Sucker Punch. Uh, we still also have Goldango that I'm still super capable of just parrying in the back. Why does this always be the case? I keep bringing Goldango and it's just like, uh, I'll let everybody else do the work. Just literally let every single other Pokemon do work before Goldango has to hit the field. Um, once again, I will just... Uh, I will protect over here. I'm not going to bother with an Encore. I'll just freeze dry the Salamence immediately. Just take it down, but this is what I meant when I said I didn't need to attack for the rest of the game. Because, like, I spent, like, three turns just doing nothing, and just they, they were losing pieces. Freeze Dry is coming out. Down goes Salamence. I mean, it might survive if they're, like, AV, but not going to happen there. What are we going to see the bandit into? Are we finally going to lose Bundle? We're finally going to lose Bundle. All right, so Bundle goes down. I mean, I still have a Goldango. They're probably, like I said, banded into Dragon Darts. That's the only way I think they do that much damage to Wochan anyways. So now they're locked into Darts. And I have a steel type in the back. The toxic for a little bit of chip. I do have to attack. I will attack here just because like it'll end the game faster. Like ideally, technically, is the best play is for me to protect Goldengo. 
but at the same time they can't kill me so we foul play we make it rain and we party yep all right beautiful so we'll give you guys one more here and uh, we'll jump into that now so we're gonna get Screamtail here um I mean Goldengo has fun <laughs> I mean Goldengo is gonna have tons of fun here big concern with Goldengo or trying to bring Goldengo is that Tinglu this is the one we're gonna try to focus down other than that Goldengo is gonna go crazy so definitely probably want to be bringing that as well um, do I want to lead bundle here because I really kind of don't because I feel like they have a lot of pressure into it with their own gold dango They have their Iron hands that can just drain punch us. They have their flutter main which we can't one shot and can kill us in return This might be a dragapult game honestly just to try and force our way through things and I think it's gonna be I Think I'm gonna go like dragapult. I don't love glamora here as much as I did in the other games so I feel like dragapult Wochen's bad here. Wochen's not bad if I want to play the style game, but I don't think I'm going to get to that spot. So I think I'm actually going to go like Dragapult Hippo. Uh, Bundle late game is still really, really good to clean, I think. And then I want Goldengo. Because like I can always Encore into a Fake Out. I can always Encore into a Protect. Anything like that can end me a game. I can Encore into a Substitute, right? Something along those lines in the end of this game could just straight up win me the game. The only thing I can't Encore is that Goldengo, which is a little unfortunate. But overall, I think it's fine. Honestly, I think Dragapult should be able to put in a good chunk of work in front of this Screamtail. The only concern I have is something like a play rough coming our way, but we can always technically immediately Terra. We haven't Terra. We've played two games with this team, and we just haven't had the need to click a Terra, which I think is kind of funny. Alright, we've got Amoongus Tingler. Alright, I'm pretty content with this. I'm just going to click Darts. Like, yes, I'm going to get put to sleep. Uh, do I want to make a different maneuver here, though? Like, do I... Yeah, I care that I'm going to get put... I could protect and then disable the spore. But I don't... Give myself... At least give myself the option for it. I'm going to give myself the option for it. And I think I'm going to yawn into the Amoongus. Because then it, they're going to be like, oh, they're definitely not going to stand up, right? Because, like, they'll take it... That way they'll be asleep. Like if I fall asleep, they fall asleep sort of thing. They're going to switch out to Ting Lu. I'm fine with this. So this should be Screamtail making the maneuver in, I would assume. Yep. This I'm fine with. I really, I really truly am. We're going to see the booster energy is fine. It's going to be speed. Oh, it's going to be special defense. Um, that was not, that was not anticipated. To be honest with you. That was most certainly not anticipated. Uh, we're going to get the Yon. If we can get the Spore slot correct... We're in a pretty good spot here. Beautiful. Okay. So now we could disable the spore if we wanted to. But I also think there's a chance that they switch out. And it looks to be a very defensive Screamtail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap the Screamtail onto the field. With a Sand Tomb. And then I'm going to Dragon Darts. Just because it will hit the Amoongus slot twice. And I value that damage into that slot for a lot for a good damage. And then I think I'm just going to drop a Sand Tomb. I want to trap this Screamtail in. I think there's opportunities here for we, for us to get Goldengo on the field sooner rather than later in this game. And I think if we can do that, we can start putting on some pressure. They're actually going to stay on the field. So it looks like they're just... They're quite content to just sit, take this trade off. You know, they're like, I'm going to fall asleep. They're going to fall asleep. That's fine. They're actually going to click Sing. Thankfully, they're going to miss the Hippowdon, which is really, really good. We're going to drop a Sand Tomb here, and they're going to put Spore off, I'm assuming, on the Dragapult. Um, I'm gonna drop a stealth rock now just for eventually when they when we get that off we get that off And I think I can safely burn a turn of sleep right now I was gonna hard switch into something like a Like my Goldengo here, but I don't need to do that right now because by doing that right now I'm not allowing Dragapult to have a chance in a late game to potentially wake up so I Think just giving myself an extra potential turn to wake up in the end games are definitely a lot better here than just switching out into Goldengo right now. I also think Amoongus might try to switch out. I'm going to drop a Stealth Rock up though. I think getting this off sooner rather than later really hinders their switching. Uh, even though they clearly didn't want to switch anyways. I guess they were just so focused on putting me to sleep. There's the switch. You knew it was going to happen sooner rather than later. Um, we're going to get a big ol' uh, Stealth Rock up. It's going to be the Goldengo. Okay. It is going to be that Goldengo. We're going to see a Sing, I would presume. Just looking to hit it, and they are going to hit it, so, you know, just lull me to sleep, uh, lull me to sleep, Screamtail. A little bit annoying, it's 
<laughs> that gold dango is going to be a problem. That gold dango is going to be a problem because I really didn't bring too many answers to it. And now with Hippowd on asleep, I can't even like sand tomb it to start adding up that damage, right? Because like the damage is adding up on Screamtail. I really haven't attacked that much, right? Um, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I don't know if I necessarily want to switch because I feel like they're just going to nasty plot this turn. Uh, this is seemingly okay. And then attempt to get a sand tomb off into the Goldengo because it's like if we get it, we get it. If we don't get it, oh well, it's not the end of the world. But I fail to see what Screamdale can. I guess fake tier Screamtail could become problematic, honestly. Substitute Screamtail. Oh no, substitute Goldengo. Okay. That's kind of cute. And they're gonna trick room. Huh. Huh. Okay. Um, I am terrified. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am not super happy with how this is looking right now. Um, I'm gonna Shadow Ball and I'm gonna Sand Tomb. I'm gonna see if I can just try to get this Goldango because, like, I don't think it can kill me. And if I can break wake up and break the sub we're in a really good spot but unfortunately we did not wake up so therefore we're not going to break the sub and they were they are going to set up so little unfortunate good news is we're going to break the sub with goldengo and then next turn we can get sand tomb damage up so not the end of the world goldengo is going to shadow ball break that sub the good news is we also get to see speed tiers so i can just preserve my goldengo here till after trick room and we'll be in a little bit of a good spot sub is going to fade man but waking up there would probably wins us the game honestly Air Balloon is going to pop, so maybe it's a good thing I was stayed asleep because I did not notice the Air Balloon. Just a Dazzling Gleam, I'm fine with. They're trapped by Sand Tomb. Alright, I'm quite content here. Protect over here, I think it is the right play. And I'm just going to drop a Sand Tomb. I think it's just getting chip damage into this Goldengo feels correct to me. Like, yes, we might lose Hippowdon, but at the end of the day, I think I'm not concerned about it. They're gonna tear. They're gonna tear out of the sand tomb weakness, I presume. Yeah, that that is checking out. Oh wow, they 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 did not care. They just said air balloon Terra flying. Now I'm kind of angry. Now I'm kind of angry because like I can't call that guys. I'm sorry, I can't call that. Um, sure, yeah, makes sense. They are going to Shadow Ball, though, into our Goldengo, leaving us on the field with Hippowdon. Just to go back to bed. Nighty night, Hippowdon. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming out today. Uh, two for three on Sings for their uh, Screamtail right here. Thankfully, it's probably not going to last. Hopefully, it won't last too much longer. Uh, two more turns of room. Two more turns of Trick Room, so I just have to pivot out. I sack something. I'm going to sack the Dragapult because it's already a sleeping piece, whereas Bundle isn't. And I'll just uh, let this go down, honestly. I'm, it, I'm guaranteed to turn to sleep, so it doesn't really matter what I click here. So Sand Tomb into, into Goldengo doesn't matter. But Air Balloon Terra Flying Goldengo. The more you see, guys, I guess you want to switch it in and then you just Terra Flying out of it anyways after you lose the Air Balloon. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. But, like, I don't know. They're going to Shadow Ball. Like I said, this is just an immediate sacrifice. This is... Goldengo was supposed to be dead here. Uh... Goldengo's supposed to be killing us here, right? So. They are freed from Sand Tomb, unfortunately. Um, this is gonna be uh Goldengo fur Goldengo first. This is tough because what I want to see happen here probably is unlikely to happen because I want I feel like they're gonna sub. Expecting me to protect on this last turn, right? And that makes the most sense. And I'm going to hard call that and I'm going to hard switch an Iron Bundle. If I lose Iron Bundle and I lose the game on this play, I lose the game on this play. Because I could just stay on the field, protect and just kill. Or just attack with Goldengo to cover the fact that they're going to sub. But I want to get to a spot where I can Icy win to break the sub and then try to kind of get big damage off with Goldengo sort of thing. I could Nasty Plot as well, like just immediately hard call them. But... I want to put myself in a position where I can do something. I also don't think they're going to make it rain in front of us. If anything, I think they might just Shadow Ball. But I don't think they're going to Shadow Ball the Bundle. I, I really don't think they're scared of the Hepowdon. Like they, like, they have to realize I can't touch them with, with it. Like, I can't hit their Goldengo. So, we'll see. 
This is where the concern becomes, though. Like this is this is a turn I have to get right if I'm gonna win this game. And often in trick, like versus trick room, these are the turns, right? It's that last turn of trick room that you want to get. They are gonna actually do that, though. And uh, all right, I'm gonna lose the game because I just tossed my iron bundle in the garbage. Cool. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but sure. I, I guess the protect was the most obvious play I could have gone for. And honestly, maybe nasty plot was just better. Right? Like, clicking nasty plot may have just been optimal there. I am going to go Terra Water, though. Just to try and survive a turn. Make it rain, I think. Yeah, I'll make it rain. And if I can potentially do anything here. Actually, there's nothing to do here. Uh, I sand tomb this slot in case they switch out screen tail. There's there's nothing else to do here. There's nothing else to do here other than do damage. I guess I could have just not attacked the screen tail and gone for a shadow ball into their gold dango, but this I feel like is equally as fine. I mean I do lose my special attack a little bit, which is a bit annoying, and maybe a misplay, but we'll see. They're gonna encore into good as gold. That doesn't work there, bud. Um, sure, we're gonna get the make it rain up for some decent damage here. Obviously, I'm not gonna do any damage to Goldango on their end because uh, Santum doesn't affect it because it's air balloon Terra flying. So, sure. And they're gonna just shut up. Why are you scared? They, they have to have something. They have to have something for this Goldango. Otherwise, these plays have been making no sense. Like, there's no reason to not just try and kill my Goldango there. I had just protected. I guess they're the, under the impression that I'm going to get Encore, and then they really don't care about me, which is fair. Oh, there's a Tingle. Yeah, this is, is over. This is over. Um, I'm going to see if I, I can get a Nasty Plot up and maybe reverse this if they want to like drop a Protect or something. But I don't think there's a chance for me to win this. Yeah, they're not going to Protect here. I'm going to get hit by a Shadow Ball and a, like a Tantrum, maybe even a Ruination or something like that. Just too much damage coming my way. Okay, <laughs> sure. I mean, I wasn't winning the game anyways at that point, but it's all good. I, I definitely butchered that last turn of Trick Room. If I Nasty Plot on that last turn of Trick Room and just sacrifice... Uh, and just sacrifice the Paladin, I win the game. I just really didn't think they were going to Shadow Ball that slot. I, I really thought they were going to like just be like, Oh, you're going to protect, I'm going to get another sub up. I don't know why they wouldn't try to reset the sub, but... Hey, you know what? You're going to get reads wrong from time to time. And that was one of those turns I got the read wrong. Uh, definitely wasn't my safest play, though. I tried to make a hard read. Didn't pay off. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to stop rambling now. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, please leave a like and subscribe. It really does help with the channel, and I do appreciate it. With that, though, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all in a future video.